Hi, uh, welcome to Everything Embedded. This is the third part of the uh, video series in which I am making snakes and ladders, graphical snakes and ladders using QT's animation framework. And currently I am writing it for the desktop, but uh, eventually we might take it to the mobile platform. We'll see how things go. So I'm just having fun with QT animation framework and uh, snakes and ladders. Well, as I said, this is the third part of the video. So if you have not seen the previous ones, please make sure to do that. Otherwise, uh, this will be a bit difficult to understand. So if you start from scratch, especially the Q Painter ones, then they should really be very easy to follow. And if you are just starting out in QT and if you are new to this, I'm pretty much sure you, you, you would be able to handle it out. Uh, the source code is on the GitHub repository, which is currently private. But at some point of time, I will open it up once I'm uh, uh, once the code has been polished. I've handled most of the use cases and other things. Then I might just open up the source code uh, on the GitHub. But currently, as I said, it's a private repository to me. Well, okay. So, uh, what are we going to be talking about in this part of the video? Well, I mean, uh, I thought I might just share some interesting things which I have done and also some little bit of uh, mathematics uh, which I had to deal with in this uh, in this game. Uh, well, I mean, uh, most of us are scared as soon as we talk about mathematics, uh, well, at least I am really. I mean, so don't worry if you are a dumb idiot like me in Max as I am, so you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, it should be all right. I think we should be able to manage things very well. So yeah, I'll uh, just work out uh, what was the problem which I was facing and what are the issues uh, in uh, a game of such magnitude really. So where things uh, we want to make things uh, a gameplay which is interesting as well as handle all the max behind it. So well, what is the mathematic part which I'm talking about? Well, I mean, it is, uh, I wish I could uh, draw on the screen, but I'll just uh, maybe in the next video, I'll start doing that as well. That will make it easier to explain uh, what is the, what are the challenges in this game and uh, what did I had to do to overcome the challenges or what, uh, maybe as I said, you might be a more intelligent person, so you may not have these problems, but let's see what are the issues which, uh, which I had to face. So as I said, this is a game board where the actual drawing uh, when we are drawing the C++ code that starts from the top left uh, corner of the screen and finishes it at uh, what you see is 10. So basically in reality the code draws from uh, what is 100. So in reality that is uh, 0 and uh, this is uh, basically 100 where 10 is. Um, I mean if you draw rectangles and other things you would know what I am talking about. Uh, so that was a challenge to arrange this in a proper way. But other thing is, as I pointed out in my last video, when the knight moves, it has to move in a zigzag manner. So the first row, the knight has to move from left to right. In the second one, he has to move from uh, right to left. Again, in the third one, he has to move from left to right. What it means is that we are, when we are animating, uh, if this is the direction of the X, the X increases as we go from left to right, which is the first row. So since we are animating the knight on the X axis, all we are doing is moving the knight on the X axis, which increase. So when we say moving on the first row, it has to increase. Uh, so it is in simple words, in the first row from the bottom, the X part of the animation has to increase in the second part it has to decrement so increment decrement increment decrement it alternates if you understand what I mean so let me uh, move it him by say five positions and so the movement is as I said from left to right but uh, as soon as he goes over the top row so let me take it over to the top row now the moment has to go from right to left. So now we have to decrement the value of X because if you are going in that direction. So now the value of X is decreasing. So we need to calculate a handle both the scenarios gracefully. 
we need to handle the corner scenarios where we have to make sure that as soon as we uh, reach the corner phase either it's for example number 10 or number 20 or uh, number 30 or number 40 uh, the y part of the element should get incremented accordingly right so what i did was so i have this uh, spin box here which allows me to enter any value and it should the knight should be able to move those uh, blocks easily so let me increment it by say 10 so 10 positions so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so the knight should end up in number 26 so let me roll the dice number 26 it is right so let's see so now you see it goes up and uh, it stops at number 26 so we have to handle now so again he is moving from left to right let's move it by 10 positions again so now this time he should go up from here and move by 10 positions so here it is so from 26 to he's to 36 now so so this is for a test purposes obviously this is only for the developer mode where you can increment or decrement no currently i don't offer a decrement from here as the knight cannot come back maybe in the future versions of the video i will do that because i have idea in mind where instead of controlling it from a dice because since this is we are uh, trying to emulate snakes and ladders i want it to be controlled by a xbox controller which means the user can press the left and right buttons and move the uh, knight accordingly but as i said that's something for future but for this one let us keep it to snakes and ladders where everything is controlled by a dice so now just to test it out for example i can say this allows me to increment in steps of 20 if i want to so uh, let me move him by 20 steps and we can see whether he animates properly starting from 36 so i'll say roll the dice and move by 20 positions so let's see so now you can see he will just uh, do a proper animation climb up the proper squares and move up by 20 20 positions so he has stopped from 36 he has come to 56 and similarly and and so forth so let's complete it and uh, make sure that we have handled all the use cases so i uh, and uh, basically i have not implemented what should happen uh, when the knight reaches on the ladder part of or the snake part those game plays are for the next uh, uh, next pieces of task but uh, we are going step by step so let me increment it by further 20 positions now so this is a good way to test if we can uh, handle all the blocks gracefully without uh, causing our code to crash so uh, that will uh, exercise all the mathematics part of it and uh, so let me again roll him by 20 positions so as you can understand now he is going from left to right the x position is increasing as soon as he goes from uh, right to left the x position has to decrease and now he is on 96 now so i can enter any value here for example even if i give 20 he has to go pass across 100 so i'll say 20 and once he crosses that mark if currently i'm just displaying game over but of course in reality we'll handle it uh, we'll have some fancy animations or new levels or some music or something further i mean yeah that will depend on the gameplay but for just to handle things gracefully and if i say new game we again uh, create the board and say 20 and things should just start again we should be rolling again so it's now looking uh, like a game now it's, it has started to look like a, a slightly entertaining game uh, so not bad for uh, an effort in qt and c currently as i said it's for the desktop version but we will eventually take it to mobile maybe i don't know but uh, we'll see about that but as i said since uh, there are not many free, free such games available on the Mac or for the Windows as well. So I might uh, put it on the Mac, on the App Store, as well as on to the Google Play Store or uh, maybe on the Windows Store as well. So if you want to download it and play for free, you can uh, get it from there. If that is of any interest to you. But yeah, I mean, uh, so that is what it is. So I just explained what, my, what was the mathematics part in this and uh, is there anything else interesting uh, i mean uh, 
no so let us have a look at the quick look at the code just to show you what did i have to do if that is of any interest to you okay quit right so here is my scene class uh, i'll go to the scene class where i have the how do i detect so i think the interesting bit is uh, how do i move the player basically so how do i move the player well it is just a method called by the timer so let me just slightly zoom in if that can sh mm, okay so the first thing is we check if we have crossed the total number of cells if it is we stop all the timers and we signal that the game is over and we return back otherwise uh, we do our animation bit when i say we do our animation bit we are either increasing the current value of x or decreasing the current value of x how do we decide that so with this it's controlled by a variable called as flip image do we want the image to be flipped from uh, is it left to right or right to left so if it is uh, flipped we decrement the value of x if it is not flipped we increment the value of x so as i said we are animating along the x axis so that is uh, which direction we go in is controlled by whether the image is to be flipped or not and uh, so that was the challenge which i had faced and the other one was how to keep a note of the jumping cells how, how to determine where the knight has to jump from which cell uh, so let me show again so these are these are the borderline cells i mean for example uh, after number 10 is as soon as the number 11 should cause the ch uh, the change in the height basically same way for uh, 21 is up so the height change has to be done so what i do is i just maintain a list of uh, such numbers for example 10 20 30 40 so this is a simple as i said this is just a beginner video the code is not optimized it can be optimized instead of maintaining it in a, some kind of an array we can compute it at run time or uh, just keep a simple tab really so that can be done so all i do is i check if the current cell number is uh, within uh, that uh, array and then i change the position of the knight the height part of it the y element part of it accordingly so we just move him up Uh, so that way he goes in a proper cell well uh, again the other challenge was how to uh, what is the concept of a current cell if we are animating it along the x axis by so many pixels how do i keep a trap a uh, tab of uh, which current cell i am well that is controlled by uh, we know the width of the cell so for example number 6 yeah i know it is 100 by 100 so the width is 100 so as soon as we cross that 100 mark we know we have completed one cell and then we have reached the new cell so that's how we i increment the cell position that i have crossed that cell particular cell as i said this uh, will uh, change in future i might use qt's uh, c uh, q graphics scene class to tell me that rather than me doing it manually i'll just see if there are some uh, methods which allow me to do that because i but for the time being uh, this one works for perfectly fine so i have kept it as it is and uh, yeah and uh, i think that was the interesting bit and uh, if the game is over we just display a blue screen with text game over otherwise we keep drawing our animated images and yeah so this one uh, this is what this video was about and anything else is which i had to do interesting bit here so well when the button is a new game we launch a new game and if it is quit uh, we just quit to the operating system and uh, the remaining parts are the same so as i said i mean uh, this uh, So I'll again demonstrate it by say go by twenty positions. Well, it is interesting to uh, watch that, and I think it can be made entertaining. 
but uh, yeah so now as you can see we have to take care of the snake bites and uh, ladder positions and uh, hence uh, so and so forth so which would be the next part of it and uh, so yeah i mean uh, i'll uh, see i mean what to do for example now he has landed on 41 instead of moving forward 41 should allow me to jump to 61 so something has to be kept in the cell of 41 uh, there should be some piece of information which will allow me to link 41 and 61 and the animation should happen but in but in my case i want the game to be a dynamic game for example the ladder can change from 41 to say 47 so uh, the code has to work in any scenario so yeah i'll be preparing for that kind of thing and uh, that will be maybe with the topic of my uh, next video well thank you very much for watching my videos and uh, supporting my channel i will see you shortly in the next one uh, cheers bye bye